Which wasn't doing so good. So one of the people, so the original owner said, "Try chicken." Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and more. For more videos like this, also watch my other house channel, A and A Snakes and stuff. My youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Kristen. Today we're gonna be talking about Wonder Woman. So let's dive in. Mono Lilith's Wonder Woman hasn't been given a concrete release date just yet. But it releasing by the end of 2024 might be in the game's best interest. Mono Lilith's Wonder Woman game might benefit from a 2024 release date to avoid potential competition and to ensure Ensure it doesn't get lost among other major releases in 2025. The success of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is crucial for the re reputation of the entire DC video game brand. And a critical failure could have negative consequences. Wonder Woman could serve as a get-out-of-jail-free card for DC if it delivers the single-player narrative focused experience that fans originally wanted for other recent DC games like Suicide Squad and Gotham Knights. DC games have seemingly hit a bit of a rocky patch recently. Much like Marvel for the best part of three decades, DC games were often seen as a bit of a mixed bag. Mostly being licensed movie tie-in games that all changed with 2019, 2009's Batman Arkham Asylum, which broke new ground not just for DC, but for the superhero video game genre as a whole. But with the Batman Arkham series coming to an end in 2015, DC's gone back to that mixed bag approach with some great titles like Injustice poking their head out of a sea of mockery right now. It's unclear just which camp monoliths Wonder Woman will fall into. First announced back in December 2021, it's been over two years since fans last saw anything official from monoliths Wonder Woman game. And that initial reveal didn't give fans much to go on at all. But there is some hope that Wonder Woman is further along in development than fans may think. And a 2024 release date might be the best thing for it. Mana lost Wonder Woman should release in 2024. Wonder Woman might need a current course after Suicide Squad, the next game up to beat. To bat for DC is Rocksteady's Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. And right now, it's not looking so hot. Announced years ago, it wasn't until February of this year, that fans got their first extended look at gameplay for Suicide Squad. And the reaction was absolutely brutal. So brutal, in fact, that Rocksteady and Warner Bros. decided to delay the game by almost an entire year. <coughs> well, Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is back from its lengthy hiatus and Rocksteady is trying its best to convince fans that it's worth playing come its February 2024 release date. But why Rocksteady has gone out of its way to showcase more of Suicide Squad's gameplay and it definitely looks to be in a better state than it was at the start of the year. I'm still mad with the There's deal. still a real possibility that it ends up being pretty bad. And recent Suicide Squad leaks have only made matters worse. If Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League ends up being a critical failure, then it could end up damaging not just Rocksteady, but the entire DC video game brand as a whole, making the second major failure in a row following Gotham Knights release last year. 
if it comes to that, then DC might want to use Wonder Woman as an immediate get-out-of-jail-free card. Presumably, finally delivering the single-player no, no, narrative-focused no. experience <clears throat> that fans originally <clears throat> wanted for both Suicide okay. Squad and Gotham Knights. I, I like how to make a Suicide Squad game, but here I think they need to make a Nightwing game, a Dick Grayson game, okay? Yes, they have to choose a new voice actor for Batman, but it's set in the Arkham Universe, and it's before he becomes Nightwing, and he's Robin. Wonder and Woman playing as him. might want to avoid an already busy 2025. But another reason, major reason why Minor Lil is Wonder Woman to release in 2024 and not any later is that 2025 is already beginning to look a little crowded. And a Wonder Woman game, why big, might end up getting lost in the crowd. The only a handful of major releases have been given a 2025 release date. At this point, just Grand Theft Auto 6's Release alone could be enough to overshadow Wonder Woman completely if it doesn't play its cards right. On top of that, there's 10 interactive James Bond projects. James Bond? And Ken Levine's Wait, James Bond. Judas that are Man, allegedly James, slated James, for a Bond? 2025 release date. Wait, James Bond? Like, like, like the action person? I'm Thank fine. you for watching this video James and fine. peace out till the next one.